Welcome. By the end of this video, you will be able to pose your character avatar in Roblox Studio. This can be helpful if you're creating things like game icons or YouTube thumbnails. Let's get started. So you want to have Roblox Studio open. And for this walkthrough, I'm actually going to be using two plugins. And these are the two plugins you're going to need installed on your Roblox Studio. It's the Load Character Light and the Animation Editor 2016. And so you can go ahead and install those. I'll put the links in the description below so you can find those. So you'll just have to sign into your account on Roblox and then install them. Uh, so let's go ahead and use this game that I was working with here. Now I already loaded my character, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that so that you can see what I do to get him in the game. So first I'm going to go to uh, the plugins tab right here on the top. And then you want to make sure that your plugins are enabled. So you want to go to your uh, plugins, uh, manage plugins. And then just make sure that the animation editor and the load character light are green here so that they're on. Okay, so once they're on, then that means that you'll be able to use them in the uh, Roblox Studio here. So I'm going to go ahead and press load character. Okay, so you have to type in the name of your character here. So mine is Roblox Learner 3. So there I am. And then you can spawn either one of these R6 or R15. Either one will work. I'll do the R6 to start. So once that's done, you can X out of that. And so now I've got my spawned character here. Okay, so the next uh, plugin you're going to use is the animation editor. I'm going to go click that. And then it's going to ask me to select a rig. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you have nothing selected so that this screen comes up. So it'll ask you to select a, uh, a character to animate. I'm going to go ahead and select the one I have there. And so now I can press select. And then it will ask, it'll say, and now the nice thing is it gives you a warning. If your character is not anchored, it will ask you to anchor it. So uh, you want to click the yellow button here to make sure to anchor it or else this might not work for you. Okay, so now I can start positioning the uh, character in the position that I want it to be in. And let's go ahead and maybe extend his arm that way. And then let's go to the other arm. And again, you can just play around with this until it looks the way you want it to look. And so let's say that's uh, what I wanted it to look like. And then basically what I would do is I uh, go to the uh, character over here in the uh, workspace. And then I'm going to go to Roblox Learner. And then I'm just going to right click on Roblox Learner. And then, so the name of your character, right click on the name of your character, and then duplicate. So you can see that once I duplicated, there are two models here. They're kind of stuck together. So you want to find a model that is not in the position that you want, and then go ahead and select it, and then delete. And so now you're left with the model that is uh, how you would like it to be. And then if you're not unable to, sometimes when you come out of that plugin, uh, you need to turn the select uh, back on. So go come up to home and press select. And now you can, uh, once you hit that, then you can select the model and move it around where you want it to go. So this is the easiest way that I found to pose a player in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.